So let's add in that property. And it will have a default of one. So items per slide and is going to be one. And actually it shouldn't be a property, uh, sorry, a, a, a data object. It should be a property that this component will um, take in. Okay, so let's do props. And but it will have a default value, of course. So it's going to be an object, and um, let's do items per slide. That will also be an object, and um, type null. So we can accept both strings and numbers. So just say default will be one. Okay. So items per slide. So just take a note uh, that props and um, I'm sorry, forgot this comma here. Properties are same thing as data, but there's something that needs to be passed in when you're invoking um, the um, component. So in this case, we're saying default one because we want it to be optional. If you don't pass anything, um, we'll use the default of one. But if you pass items per slide, uh, when you're using uh, slides here, um, let's say you see items per slide, um, if you do that, then uh, it's whatever you passed in will override um, items per slides default value here. Okay, but in data, um, basically this is what application has in self this is internal state. You don't have to pass in these ones. Okay, so that's the distinction between them. So now that we have a single weight, let's um, continue with the rest. All right. So let's say this dot um, dollar set. So we've calculated single weight. We want to set the single weight through this um, data property here. So this does set single width. We want to say single width. Okay. So next, let's say this dot dollar set inner width, and um, the inner width will be a single width uh, multiplied by um, this dot slide um, dot length. Okay. So if we have five slides or six, if you have six slides, um, we've got the width of a single slide. The total um, of inner width will be the number of slides times the single width slide. Okay. So we save that. All right. So that is all well and fine. But um, let me show you that um, we still, what, what we have, what's calculated. So let's do single width. Here. And let's do... Um, uh, to a br and then let's do inner width okay so we come back here and um, yes everything should have been calculated but it's not so let's see what the problem was let's put this in a p tag so single width and um inner width so let's try that one more time. So over here, refresh. Okay, so as you can see, we have 940 by 100. And the reason why that didn't refresh um, um, instantly is because um, Vue.js does not reload your um, data here. So if you change uh, data in here, Vue.js does not reload it because um, it does not mess, want to mess up some things. Um, don't want to go too much detail into that, but um, yeah, that's pretty much the idea. All right. So, um, Okay, so let's carry on with the rest. I'm gonna remove all of this. So what we need to do is we need to bind the width of um, inner uh, slides inner to um, whatever is inner width here. Okay, so how we do that in Vue.js is um, pretty uh, neat trick. Um, what you need to do is you need to say vbind uh, style. So inline styling, you want to bind it to a property in the, um, the component class. That is pretty crazy. Vue.js is awesome and I like it for one of these reasons. You can bind a, a style value to a property. Okay. You can do it in other frameworks as well, but this way of doing it is awesome. So let's do inner width. So what we're saying here is we're binding style, um, inline style property, and we're saying these are the values. Okay. So width will, uh, the width of the element will be bound to the value of inner width and we want to do plus pixels. Okay. So plus px. Okay, and um, yeah, so that's it for now. And next, what we want to do is we want to bind um, the single slide um, width to that single width. Okay, so let's do v bind v dash bind um, and then style. Okay, 
equal to just like we did above um, it's gonna be width um, single width okay so we're gonna do plus pixels px okay but if you notice one thing we're looping um in the, using this div here so we're having an extra containing div and we do not need that so let's cut um the v4 here and let's delete this and um let's actually add it onto the um component invocation itself so um that's pretty okay so the the top level for a single component now will be um this div which slide here okay so let's come over here as you can see we've refreshed and um now by default the um, slides will be on the same line and um, let's inspect the um, inline styles that we have um, set up before so now as you can see the width is 900 and the total containing width is 4500 okay 4500 so things are looking pretty nice